Queen warmonger Hillary Clinton complains about men starting wars. Some days the Caitlin Johnston articles just write themselves. During her self-titled annual awards ceremony at Georgetown University on Thursday, Hillary Clinton said that the biggest obstacle to peace and security around the world is men starting wars. During the Q&A segment of the event, Clinton was asked by a student, What do you see as the biggest challenge for women, peace, and security over the next 10 years? Well, I think the biggest challenge is men starting wars, Clinton replied, adding, You know, I don't think they have enough to do. Which would have come across as a humorous and relatable answer, if it had come from pretty much anyone else on the entire planet. The single strongest argument against Hillary Rodham Clinton's suggestion that only men start wars is the career of Hillary Rodham Clinton. This is, after all, the same woman who chortled with delight when she found out Muammar Gaddafi had been lynched in the streets following his U.S.-led overthrow in Libya during her tenure as Secretary of State, saying, I'm sure it did when asked if his death had anything to do with her visit to the country. The same woman who, as Secretary of State, promoted the plan of arming extremists in Syria with the goal of toppling Damascus. The same woman who, as a senator, played a pivotal role in convincing the Democratic Party to support the invasion of Iraq based on lies. The same woman who, as First Lady, said she urged her husband Bill Clinton to launch the bombing campaign that would leave Serbia and Kosovo covered in cluster munitions. The same woman who, as a U.S. presidential candidate, advocated a no-fly zone in Syria which would have required attacks on Russian warplanes who violated it, and endorsed the same brinkmanship policies in Ukraine which eventually provoked the Russian invasion. When Tulsi Gabbard famously dubbed Clinton the Queen of Warmongers in 2019, it wasn't just empty rhetoric. There is no woman alive who anyone could argue is more deserving of that title. If you'd have told me that there was a Hillary Rodham Clinton award ceremony prior to my having read about it, I would have assumed it was an event where women received trophies for killing large numbers of human beings with military violence. It is, of course, true that men have been the drivers of the overwhelming majority of wars throughout the ages, but that's just what's so disgusting about the modern iteration of feminism that Hillary Clinton rode to prominence on. The girl-boss feminism of the Hillary Clinton age has ceased to mean advancing women's interests and ensuring that women are treated as equals to men, and has become a vapid celebration of examples of women, proving that they can be just as murderous, tyrannical, and abusive as any man. That was the zeitgeist that Hillary Clinton rode her 2016 presidential campaign on, and when the American public recoiled in horror and refused to vote for her, it was spun as a victory for misogyny. It should have been spun as a victory for would-be bombing victims who live in U.S.-targeted nations. Hillary Clinton is all the worst things about modern liberals and the Democratic Party. She is a blood-spattered psychopath who has dedicated her life to serving all the worst impulses of the human species. Imperialism, militarism, capitalism, authoritarianism and, yes, patriarchy, wearing a grinning plastic mask of civil rights and social justice to convince people to let her in the door. She's one of the creepiest things you could possibly imagine. And the sooner her and those like her are gone and forgotten, the better. <laughs>